The Agnes River is one of the major waterways that flows down into Corner Inlet and is probably up this western end one of the major rivers. By Victorian or Australian standards, the Agnes is a relatively short river. It's about 43 kilometres long. So it starts up on the Grand Ridge Road at the top of the Streslekis and winds its way down. The top section is sort of pretty intact, sort of high quality, almost rainforest, a lot of it. And then it goes down through some quite productive farmland and then it enters the gorge sort of section, which includes the Agnes Falls, and then winds down to the estuary in the corner inlet. It's got huge diversity of fish. In order to protect that seagrass, which is the cornerstone of, of those fisheries, we have to reduce the sediment coming off the catchment and we have to reduce the nutrients that is coming off some of the farming land. We've worked a lot on that agricultural landscape and with those landholders to fence off the river and we're pretty much 70% done. So 70% of the Agnes in the agricultural landscape is fenced off and revegetated. Over the last four years we've had the Regional Riparian Action Plan which is basically working on rivers in uh, country parts of Victoria. One of the projects within that was called uh, Landcare Riparian Projects. Basically means working with landcare groups on rivers. Often those landcare groups have got, they've got all lined up, they've got the landholders on board, they've got a vision at their local scale and it's like they had the ember and we just had to blow a bit of air onto it to make it into a little fire and that's what that project's about. It's about us finding those landcare groups that are ready to roll, got a vision, want to do something to protect their river, their creek, their wetland and we just add a bit of fuel to the fire and um, stoke it up. The big picture is to revegetate the old road that runs down parallel to the river all the way down to the bottom of the gorge. It's about three to four kilometres in length. Most people in Victoria and Australia who come and visit the Agnes Falls don't know about this part here. So part of our plan is to make this very well known so that people can enjoy this part of it too. There's 9,000 acres of catchment here and a lot of it comes down to this, just this. We see this as a potential wonderful tourist track that will attract people and provide them with this beautiful opportunity to see this view and to link it to their visit to Agnes Falls. It's about a 15 minute walk from the top to the bottom. We're going on a major revegetation project which will look at revegetating this side of the falls. This person here who's done the revegetation started it about 40 years ago and now has now passed it on to his son who continues to um, plant trees here. So it's a very, very old revegetation project. And what we're trying to do is build on what they've done and develop it further. This planting goes back to roughly 12 to 15 years. And um, what we're finding now is a lot of um, self-seeding and self-sowing is going on. So what I notice when I come down into an old planting like this, and when I say old, it's only 10 or 12 years, is that the whole microclimate changes. Like we were sitting out only 20 metres over there, and it was bright sun and windy, and you come into a, a planting that's only a few years old and the wind's quieter, we're in the shade, um, there's more birds, obviously, and in only less than, you know, or maybe a decade, you change the whole landscape. And in that time, you start to see those natural processes start to replicate and you get more natural recruitment of other plants. And that's what we're trying to do often is just set things in motion. That's what Brian and the Agnes River Landcare Group are really trying to replicate all the way along the river system. So and we're here to help them. One of the best parts of my job is working with volunteers and community groups who are doing stuff out of their own vision, their own passion we can provide some expertise and a little bit of funding and make, make it bigger. Over the next four years, we're going to try and complete the job. And by complete the job, I mean have entire waterways um, fenced and revegetated. The river, you know, you're protecting the river, you're revegetating, putting um, native vegetation back on the banks, but you're also creating some corridors where, um, you know, wildlife and the like can move along. I've got great, great heart now and great hope and seeing um, over the last five years, seeing the work of West Gippsland Catchment Management Authority and their willingness to work with um, land landholders to um, recreate a healthy system. <laughs>